Okay, so now we're gonna look at setting up a photo job in the system. So this process is pretty easy and pretty quick, and it's something you're gonna to need to do for each new job that you're starting in Got Photo. Um, so let's begin. Now, it doesn't matter where you are on the account, the place to go is the photo job section. So click that along the black navigation bar at the top of your account, just like that. And again, this will bring you through to this page. So I'm just gonna click the blue button to create a new job. I'm then gonna enter the details. Obviously you could put in the details for your own shoot. I'm just gonna enter test job and I'm gonna say the shoot is next week. Please enter the correct dates there. And again, if your shoot is split over a few days, just enter the first day of the shoot. And again, below we're gonna select the type. Don't worry too much about being exact here. This is just for your own reference. I'm gonna say primary school, but if you can't find a term, just put in something that's close enough. This is for your own reference again, so don't worry too much about being exact. Anyway, I'm gonna save the job. I'm not gonna worry about the advanced settings. You don't need to either. And below this then I'm gonna to get to the access type section. So the really we're going from point one, two, three, and four here. And by the end of that, then we're pretty much predetermined in everything for the whole flow or the whole sales cycle really for the job. Um, so yeah, we should have this done pretty quickly. So if you just follow along now, we're gonna get started. So at the beginning, we've got the access type. And again, I'm just gonna enter the number of heads that I'm expecting on location. Now you might be working with a names list. If that is the case, we do have the option to upload it here. If you want some help with that, do feel free to get in touch, but most of you it will just be uploading, or sorry, most of you will just be dealing with regular QR cards. So I'm gonna enter in the number of heads that I'm shooting. And I'm actually gonna enter 10% uh, extra just in case I have, um, I, need, I need a few spares on the day. So again, we're dealing with children, uh, maybe things get crumpled, spills, whatever can happen. So a few spares is not a bad idea. You can also bring them along to the next shoot with you as additional spares for that too. So don't worry about throwing them out after. Um, anyway, we've got that in there. So we're gonna use those. If you need more info on the QR cards as well, we do have a separate video on that. So if you're sort of scratching your head and thinking, I'm not quite sure um, what Matt's talking about here with the QR tagging, uh, check out the QR cards video for some more info. Anyway, below that, I'm gonna select my price profile. So I'm just gonna select standard school from the list. Again, if you do wanna check out how to design your own price profiles or a little bit more information on that, check out the price profiles video also in this playlist. Now again, below this, uh, and what's actually really the more important section or the, the sort of the most important section is point three and four. So point three is our important events. So these are the triggers for our emails and point four is communication profile and those are the actual emails. So again, once we're getting the email address from the parent at the beginning of the process, so the QR cards are going home, they're logging in, you're getting an email address. What are we actually doing with that? So this is where we're setting up our reminders, when they're gonna go out, what the are going to trigger it. So just to bring, uh, just to open it up quickly here, I'm going to show you the coupon section. So this is a really useful tool that we have in order to maximize your sales. Now, again, some people are turned off by this to begin with. Um, don't look at this as a means of giving money away. It's really about maximizing your sales. So we want to have some nice juicy discounts in there um, that are actually maximizing your profit. So it's all about using the minimum order value correctly and having a nice enticing monetary value offer or a percentage offer off that's going to be enticing for the parents to make them spend that higher amount. Um, so again, it's about pushing profits, not giving stuff away. So again, what I would normally say, a great place to start is sort of around 50 quid and uh, you can give them a solid 10% discount. Again, we can add further levels of discount, so feel free. Um, I think, yeah, we go maybe 15 here at 90. That's also great. So again, this just gives them an, a further incentive to spend more. Um, let's say we've maybe got siblings in the school as well, something like that. Um, anyway, you get the idea. This is a really good way to push the sales. Now again, in terms of the deadline dates, try and end these on a Sunday. So if the shoot is then happening on the 23rd, I'd probably get my editing done over the weekend and have them up online sort of Sunday, Monday. So I could either do the third or push it out until the 10th. So I'm going to give them two weeks um, and that's going to allow them then to have this discount up until the 10th. And again, what this will do, we'll send a few reminder emails prior to this date to let people know that, hey, there's still this discount available. Please get in and purchase some photos. Um, so super useful. And you'll find then your sales are peaking around these times. Now, beyond that, then we've got the archiving deadline. So this is another deadline trigger. Um, for emails. And again, it just allows us to say, hey, the job's going to close soon. Um, you'd better get in there and order stuff. Now, what we can actually do is just have the job threatening to close, but it actually stays open. How do we do this? Well, we say do not archive the job automatically. What this means then is that people are still getting these reminder emails, but should we receive some late orders or someone does get into the shop a bit late, they can still place an order. The lab is still happy to process that. And I'm sure you will still be very happy to take the money from them. So again, what I would do is maybe push the deadline date out a bit further. Let's say the 10 for the coupon so the end of the month for the, the, the archiving deadline would be perfect 
So again, you can sort of base your dates uh, roughly around that template um, of sort of, yeah, two weeks after the shoot for the coupon, and then a further three or four weeks after that for your archiving. Below that then, I'm just gonna select the communication profile. Now the recommended one is always gonna be either one of the 2019 new versions. So if you're doing a nursery, select the nursery. Uh, if you're doing a school, select the school. I'm gonna do school. And again, below those, you'll see the Christmas versions as well. Obviously, if that is applicable a bit later in the season, then do feel free to use those instead. Now I'm just gonna save the settings and this should then bring me right through to where I can get the QR card sorted. <laughs> Well, that is annoying, isn't it? <laughs> um, is it possible to cut again? So we cut there. I'm just gonna save the settings now. And that should bring us through to our QR cards page. So there we go. I can now generate these ready for the shoot next week. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the process done for each job. So again, this is the same process for every job that you're setting up. You might just want to tweak the date slightly. Maybe you want to change the price profile. But apart from that, it's pretty similar each time. So I hope that helped. And uh, yeah, best of luck with your first shoot in God Photo. Thank you so much for checking out this instructional video. We do appreciate though that you may still require some assistance. If this is the case, pay attention now to the details on screen and feel free to get in touch.